Happy New Year to all. I am Eunice Sabine Adola. We come to you with the January 2024 edition of the Divine Word Missionaries Web TV News. You are welcome. We bring you stories from Ghana, India, Rome. In this edition, Father Jose Antunes, the Vice Superior General, gives us some updates about the upcoming general chapter. Father Wojciech introduces us to the monthly Lexio Divina. Please stay with us. The SVD Ghana province organizes the Day Verbum course annually, which brings together priests, religious, and the lay faithful to study the Word of God and to spread it. The 2023 course, celebrated last month, has been organized especially for young people. The theme chosen was Youth as Scripture Ambassadors. On the occasion of the Platinum Jubilee of the province, Father Christopher, the communications coordinator of the Indian East Province, had an interview with the provincial, Father Anuranjan Bilong, who speaks, among other things, about the contribution of the SVDs in that part of India. When I think of the contributions to the local church, the first thing that comes to my mind is, we have helped our faithful in their initial faith formation and we have built up the communities especially the parish communities and building up the communities or strengthening the communities the christian communities secondly primary education and primary health care these three aspects we find you know, in all the missions or these three things we find in all the missions. We also contributed in terms of promoting the local vocations and permission of the local village. The caucus members composed of the general council, the generalate officials and zona coordinators met in room from 11 to 17 this January for the evaluation and planning activities meeting. The participants also spent some days preparing for the next general chapter to be held in June and July this year. Father Jose Antunes, the Vice Superior General, gives some updates on the general chapter preparation at the level of the generalate. Uh, during the caucus, we continue to discuss some important points in preparation for the general chapter. For example, the methodology to be used, the way in which uh, the report should be presented to the capitulars, the days of retreat, and so on. We had also the presence of the two facilitators, and they helped us to get uh, a unified vision of the unfolding of the chapter. Uh, at this moment, we'd like that our communities would continue to work on the second guide for communal reflection on the theme of the chapter. Uh, this reflection at the grassroots, I, I think it is an occasion to involve everybody in the process, even our mission partners, and it is also a way to prepare the ground for the implementation of the chapter resolutions and decisions. Also, I think it is very important to understand that the chapter is not an activity that concerns only those who will be present in NEMI, and all of us can participate by prayer, so that the chapter may be an event guided by the Holy Spirit. And then we hope that the chapter will animate and encourage all the SVDs to become faithful and creative disciples. Then, through us, the light of Christ might shine in the world. The next general chapter preparations are going on in the provinces, regions and missions. Meetings based on the second reflection guide are taking place. Besides, some PRMs have already held their local chapters to elect the delegates for the general chapter.
Father Wojciech, the Biblical Apostolate Generalate's Coordinator, introduces us to the Lectio Divina with the theme of the upcoming general chapter. Dear Conference, as we journey towards our 19th general chapter, we will conclude the SVD news with a brief biblical reflection that will explore the five aspects of the chapter's theme, which as you well know is your light must shine before others, faithful and creative disciples in a wounded world. Thus, we will reflect in sequence on the five themes, your light, light must shine, wounded world, faithful disciples and creative disciples. Today, we begin our reflection focusing on the theme of your light. That is our light as the Divine Word missionaries. The guiding biblical verse will be taken from the letter to the Philippians, chapter 2, verse 16. You shine as lights in the world by holding on to the word of life. In these words, the Apostle Paul implores us to shine as lights in the world by holding on to the word of life. I believe that these words powerfully encapsulate our mission as Divine Word missionaries. We are called to shine the divine light, understanding that the light we emit is not of our own making, but originates from the sacred message contained in the Bible. It is essential to emphasize that as missionaries, our light is not generated by us. It is a reflection of the divine brightness contained on the pages of the Bible. However, by immersing ourselves in the sacred text, we allow its transformative power to shine through us. And in this way, our mission to share the gospel becomes a living embodiment of what St. Paul stated in our verse. We become a collective light radiating the wisdom and love inherent in the word of life. May the coming chapter help us to focus and guide our efforts to radiate the light of Scripture so that it may illuminate the world and heal its wounds. Thanks for watching the news. See you next month. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We meet again next time. We leave you with a song and video clip prepared by the Communication Center Verbal Films in Brazil on the occasion of the upcoming general chapter. As nações, a voz do além nos chamando para colaborar na missão de construir desde agora o reino da libertação, fiéis e criativos, discípulos de Jesus. Laudato se Deus da vida no meio.